Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are looking at items and equipment from the God of War series takes the most effort to unlock. Do not be sorry. Be better. But before we get into it, we publish new content all week long. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Daedalus's Schematics, God of War 3. We'll start off with one that isn't too big a hassle, but can be easy to miss. In general, finding the godly possessions in God of War 3 isn't all that challenging. Most of them, Kratos can grab either right before or right after each character dies. However, Daedalus' schematics are a little trickier than the rest. Naturally, they're located in his workshop, but the room has multiple portals in it. You have to pull a lever to raise the ballista up, then run up a wall into the portal facing downwards. This leads to another lever, which lowers a platform with two chests. Back by the ballista, firing it into the portal directly ahead will drop the chests, one of which holds your prize. <laughs> Evaldi's Deadly Mist Set, God of War. <laughs> Niflheim can be a fairly intimidating realm when you first encounter it. Covered in a deadly fog, Kratos and Atreus will be given a time limit for how long they can stay there. And if the bard depletes, they'll quickly die. However, only by continuing your exploration will you get armor that can help you. There are several resources that can only be found here, hidden in chests and guarded by enemies. By taking these resources to Sindri, he can craft you Evaldi's Deadly Mist armor set, which not only gives you resistance to Niflheim's mist, but gives Kratos minor health regeneration. <laughs> However, if you happen to die in Niflheim before reaching Sindri, you'll lose those resources. Dark Odyssey Costume, God of War 2. God Mode is the hardest difficulty in multiple God of War games, but in God of War 2, it's the second hardest. We'll talk about what you get from Titan Mode, the hardest this sequel offers, in a bit, but God Mode is still nothing to sneeze at. The enemies are still going to hit you much harder, and your useful orbs are going to be in shorter supply. By completing this game on this difficulty, you'll get the Dark Odyssey costume. It cuts your defense in half, making any replay just a bit more dangerous. But it also doubles your attack power and makes it so red orbs go a lot further in upgrading your weapons. The Grave Digger's Shovel, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Feel the power of Olympus! Insolent! Die, mortal! Ghost of Sparta played things a bit differently with how players unlocked content. It included a new area called the Temple of Zeus where Kratos could spend red orbs, collected either in the campaign or through challenge modes. The highest costing reward was the Robotos costume at 250,000 orbs. But in total, you'd have to spend a million red orbs to unlock everything, and therefore gain the temple's hidden prize. While you get these orbs just by playing, that's still a lot of work. But by doing so, you'll be led to a secret area with the Gravedigger's Shovel, which unlocks the ability to play as Zeus in the game's combat challenges. <laughs> God Armor, God of War 2. Kratos may start the game wearing this armor, but you have to work extra hard to get it back. 
After beating the game, you'll unlock the Challenge of the Titans, seven combat encounters that can be a major pain. Some of them task you with defeating enemies a specific way and within a time limit, which can be nerve-wracking. However, there's also one where you must defeat all enemies before Kratos runs out of health, which is constantly draining. And another where you must defeat all the enemies without getting hit at all. Plus, you don't get the god armor just by beating these challenges. You have to gain enough points to earn a god ranking. It doubles all of Kratos' stats though, making it a very tantalizing prize. Steinbjorn Armor Set, God of War Ragnarok. Anytime after completing Chapter 10 in God of War Ragnarok, Kratos can find a hidden relic on the frozen Lake of Nine called the Mystical Heirloom. At first, it seems like this item does nothing, but while it's equipped, you can use it to access four mini-boss fights against various trolls. One is at the Derelict Outpost in Midgard, another is at the Forbidden Sands in Alfheim, and the two at Noah Tun's Garden in Vanaheim are obviously the hardest. But after going through the process of tracking these trolls down and defeating them, the Steinbjorn armor set makes a mighty fine prize. You're on fire, Kratos! They won't fire. The Waste Guard and Gauntlets give a moderate luck chance to stagger and stun enemies when Kratos takes damage, while the Chest Piece lets him regain health with each hit after taking enough damage. The Blazing Magma Armor Set Muspelheim is the fiery counterpart to Niflheim, and while it doesn't feature mist that can slowly try to kill you, it's still the harder of the two. Made up of combat challenges, you'll be able to craft and buy the magma armor set from materials you only find here. Doing so only takes a few fights, but if you want to take full advantage of what it can offer, you'll need to put in quite a bit of effort. Upgrading the armor set requires going through many increasingly tougher trials, including a fight against Gondol, who, while not on the level of Sigrun, is one of the hardest Valkyries in the game. General Kratos, God of War 2 In God of War 2, Kratos can actually collect the eyes that he rips from the sockets of Cyclops' enemies in their death animation. And if players want the General Kratos costume, they'll need to yank out 20 of them. This may seem tricky at first, given there aren't 20 individual Cyclops encounters in a single playthrough. There are other ways though, like farming them in the Challenge of the Titans, or fighting them in the Arena of the Fates, which adds to your total. Twenty is still a fairly large number of them though, and they're pretty formidable enemies. The costume increases the potency of red orbs by quite a lot while decreasing that of green, blue, and gold ones, as well as reducing Kratos' attack and defense. <laughs> Hilt of Forsbrander, God of War Ragnarok. In 2018's God of War, killing all of Odin's ravens only got you XP, but in Ragnarok, they get you something pretty neat. After hunting down all 48 of them across the realms, which, trust us, is no small feat, you'll unlock a secret boss fight against the Raven Keeper. She's essentially a souped-up revenant, but that's still one of the most annoying enemies of the franchise's Norse era. She'll frequently teleport around the arena and bring in minions to whittle away your health, but at a quarter health, she'll summon a freaking dragon. Here it comes! 
After taking them both down, you'll earn the rare Hilt of Force Brander. It can push enemies back and grant Kratos an aura of protection, making it very useful if he's getting swarmed. Past, past. Finally now, our anguish may pass. The Spartan Armor Set, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. <laughs> Sony surprised everyone with an unveiled free DLC for God of War Ragnarok at the 2023 Game Awards. And it is, without a doubt, one of the most difficult areas in the game. Bringing new story elements as well as roguelike mechanics, it's hard to say how difficult a time you'll have when so many things are randomized. However, you'll have no companion, and you'll only unlock cosmetic armor as you go. Kratos enters with only his weapons and gains perks as he goes. <laughs> Additionally, considering there are a ton of bosses inside, you'll definitely be tested. While there are additional challenges, beating it once gains you the Spartan armor set, and the ability to make Kratos look like his Greek-era self. Surtur's Scorched Set, God of War Ragnarok. Ragnarok brought back the combat challenges of Muspelheim, but unlocking the armor here is a bit more of a time commitment. You'll need to have already completed the six Crucible challenges, which unlocks the final challenges. All the unique rewards all Sutter had to offer. Needless to say, these are much harder than those that precede them. You'll get a piece of Surtur's Scorched Armor set after finishing the first, third, and fourth challenges. They're all pretty hard, so which ones you choose are down to your skills as a player. It's one of the best armor sets in the game, though. The gauntlets and girdle make Kratos take less damage and stagger when hit while performing an attack and the cuirass lets him do extra damage while interrupting an enemy's attack. Mime of War, God of War, Chains of Olympus. There are a lot of unlockables in God of War that you can only get by beating an entry on the highest difficulty. For Chains of Olympus, you get the Mime of War costume. It isn't as simple as just starting the game on God Mode, as it's called. The difficulty level is only unlocked after beating the game once. Not only do enemies naturally hit harder, but orbs are only worth half as much. The Mime of War is definitely a good reward. In contrast to God Mode, wearing it multiplies the worth of red orbs by four and green and blue orbs by two. That's on top of the silly appearance and invisible weapons. Armor of Zeus, God of War. The armor of Zeus can only be gained on a New Game Plus playthrough. That wouldn't be so bad if not for the particular enemies that hold each piece. Of course, they're Valkyries, and of course, they're three of the strongest ones. To get the War Belt, you must defeat Hildur in Niflheim with its annoying Deadly Mist issue. <laughs> The gauntlets are earned from Gondol and Muspelheim, who has extremely destructive fire attacks. Finally, the cuirass is held by Sigrun, the queen whose reputation for being a chore should precede her and who's only fought after all the others are slain. The set comes with high stats as well as a major increase to damage, both in output and how much Kratos takes. It returned in Ragnarok, but was a bit easier to obtain.
Ghost of Sparta, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. One of the things you can't obtain in Ghost of Sparta's Temple of Zeus is a costume named after the game itself. The Ghost of Sparta costume can only be earned by beating the game on God Mode, which is the hardest difficulty here. Naturally, that means it's only for players with the skill and patience to pull it off, as bosses and enemies can absolutely shred you. You might find it not even worth the effort. The costume makes Kratos take twice as much damage as he normally would. The benefit is that Pharah's Bane deals four times the fire damage and refills drastically quicker than with any other costume. Still though, that's only one attack. The Destroyer of Worlds. Mick Kratos, God of War, Chains of Olympus. It's a shame the newer God of War games don't have the silly costumes of the Greek era. In Chains of Olympus, the Mick Kratos costume made the Ghost of Sparta resemble a Scotsman, complete with bright red hair, a kilt, and gigantic axes in place of his Blades of Chaos. Wearing it drastically increases Kratos' damage output, while having the amount of blue and green orbs you can collect. The costume is unlocked by beating the Challenge of Hades, a series of five combat encounters. It isn't as arduous as some other optional challenges in the series, but a few of them are still a pain, especially one that has Kratos constantly losing health while enemies come at him. Rond of Obliteration, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. Players can earn this powerful shield rond in Ragnarok, which charges a projectile-based attack while Kratos guards, by defeating the post-game boss, the new Valkyrie Queen, Gana. However, it's actually a bit harder to get in Valhalla. <laughs> You must reach the end of the DLC, conquering the most challenging fight against Tyr on the Show Me Mastery difficulty, which is the highest difficulty offered. But that's not all. You must also choose the penalty of breaching affliction at the beginning of your run, which makes you weaker and slowly drains health without outright killing you. Honestly, props to those of you who have done this, because I could not be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Athena and Hercules costumes, God of War 2. God mode is called Titan mode in God of War 2, but no matter what it's called, the very hard difficulty remains an insurmountable challenge for many players. In addition to beating the game once to unlock it, Titan mode increases all enemy strength while decreasing yours. Green and blue orbs aren't quite as potent, while red orbs are much rarer. Beating Titan mode gets you two costumes for the price of one, Hercules and Athena. The Hercules costume doubles your power while having your defense and the Athena costume increases the value of red, green, and blue orbs while also giving a decrease to defense. The Hilt of Skafnung, God of War Ragnarok. Technically speaking, Kratos gets this hilt upon starting the Fit for a King quest in Ragnarok, but actually being able to use it, that's the tricky part. Players must hunt down and defeat all 12 Berserkers, a couple of which don't fight alone. Not only are they naturally scattered throughout the realms, but they're on par with the Valkyries from the 2018 game. Which is to say, they're gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> The 
The final bout against King Krolf is obviously the toughest. If you don't have your weapons and armor fully upgraded, he'll make you regret it. Thankfully, the hilt is worth it once you can actually use it. It summons a group of ghostly swords that make every enemy encounter a breeze. <laughs> Radiant Shield of Unity, and Aspis of Spartan Fury, God of War. Every God of War game is hard if you play on the highest difficulty. With less opportunities to heal than the original games, the Norse ones may just have the edge. But that's far from the only issue. For the 2018 installments Give Me God of War difficulty, enemies are not only stronger, quicker, and more durable, but their status effects also deal more damage and last longer. Beating the game this way will surely satisfy you, but it also comes with a couple of rewards. These are two shields for Kratos, the Radiant Shield of Unity and the Aspis of Spartan Fury. Sadly though, these are purely cosmetic skins for the shield he already has. Challenge of the Gods Costumes, God of War, 2005. The original God of War had multiple silly but rewarding costumes to unlock. However, it took beating a series of fights that are some of the hardest the series has ever seen. The Challenge of the Gods is unlocked after beating the game, and tasks you with completing 10 encounters. Many of them come with time limits, which only add stress to the already daunting criteria. Most of them throw groups of extremely powerful enemies at you, and the final one is a recipe for fury. Kratos must raise a platform by defeating satyrs and Cerberus pups, who endlessly spawn and take up quite a bit of room on the minuscule platform. If you have the patience, this unlocks Chef of War, Ares Armor, Bubbles, Tycoonius, and Dairy Bastard. What God of War unlockable gave you the most trouble? Share your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great gaming videos every day. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.